This is Mr. Magnifico, and in a previous video I showed this head-mounted flashlight which I purchased from Temu. I commented on how light it was, which indicated that the battery inside this would not be so great. So in this video, we are going to fix that. I am going to start by unscrewing the back of the flashlight. It is only held together with one Phillips screw. Looking inside, we can see that it has a rather small lithium ion cell. It is known as a 14 500 cell, which is the exact same size as a standard AA battery. Of course, being 3.7 volts, it is much, much higher. These cells can be found in electric toothbrushes. In fact, the two that I have are from electric toothbrushes. This one is rated at 740 milliamp hours. And I tested all three cells. The one from the headlamp only reaches 247 milliamp hours. This won't last very long, but if we were to replace it with an 18650 cell, we could get a lot more use out of it and would have to charge the flashlight less between uses. In order for the cell to fit, I did have to remove this sponge space filling thing. The 18650 is a nice fit and the case closes on it perfectly. Now I did wonder if we could get any more juice out of it, so what's better than a 18650? Two 18650s. They look like they fit perfectly, however, when I put the cover back on, the little hinge at the bottom stops the cover from closing properly. So when I close the top, the bottom doesn't close. When I close the bottom, the top doesn't close. So we can either have one cell or we can replace the cells altogether. So as demonstrated here, one 18650 fits perfectly without any complications. However, I am not content with the capacity of just one 18650. I would like it to have more capacity. So to achieve this, I'm going to use two 16650 cells. These are slightly thinner than the 18650, but they do offer comparable milliamp powers. So both of them will fit in the case nicely and the lid will be able to close on it without a problem. So these are the cells that I am going to go with. And I have a number of them so I am going to find two that have similar capacity in milliamp hours and then I'm going to put them in parallel, which will give me double the capacity. After charging and testing all the cells, I found two cells that I was happy with. They had a similar capacity, which was 1839 and 1861. When I combine them together, I will get double the capacity of the lesser cell. So I will have at least 3650 milliamp hours to work with. After placing them in position, I dabbed a bit of hot glue on them so that they can stay together for the welding process. As they are just two cells in parallel, the spot welding process is pretty simple. A small piece of nickel will tap the two positive ends together, and this will be repeated for the negative end.
With the spot welding done, it was time to prepare for the soldering. To do this, I started by stripping the blue and red wires. After this, I went ahead and tinned the blue and red wires with some solder and the soldering iron. After the wires were tinned, it was time to add some solder to the cells. It is important when soldering lithium ion cells that you do not solder directly onto the cells. As you can see here, I am soldering between the cells. This will avoid any damage to the cells. The next step is to solder the red wire to the positive ends of the battery pack and the blue wire to the negative end of the battery pack. With the soldering done, it was important to test the flashlight before putting it back together. These sticky parts will stop the cells from moving around as well as providing a bit of cushion between the case and the cells.
And with that, it was time to put the screw back on and complete this upgrade. The cell capacity was 247 milliamps. It is now 15 times as much, which means this flashlight will last 15 times longer. Of course, I do not expect it to be running continuously for that long, but I will always have a flashlight charged and ready to go when I need it. Considering I only paid £2.88 for it and have upgraded it with used free cells, I have a perfectly good flashlight. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe.